Libra. Hello. Welcome to your weekend reading. Welcome to the weekend. How did you do? Good. <laughs> um, so if you're coming back, welcome back. And if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Adrian. This is just a weekend check-in for you. So this is in addition to the weekly readings that I do for you. Good. Oh, they're just coming out. They're just coming out. Hmm. That's good. That's nice. Actually, I like that very much. All right. And if you are interested in online spiritual regression hypnosis in a session, that is something that I do. There's a link down below in the description that explains you a little bit more about that. Or if you want to have a personal detailed reading or learn the tarot, I offer that as well. And um, let's just get you one more card here. This is for your weekend reading, beautiful people. Okay, general reading for the sign of Libra. So... I feel that some of you are suppressing your own personal needs and even what is really good for you for the sake of others and you will call this you know maybe keeping the peace and you know maintaining the decorum or and the situation may have been going on for a while there you know where you're sort of putting yourself second and you're calling it other things. Um, you know, the this, this sort of humble pie, but it's it's more the sort of humble pie that really doesn't serve you in the best possible way. Okay, It's really not good for you. It's not good for your soul. It's not good for your heart. It's not good for your health. Um, and it's really like the forces of nature, like Gaia, the fairy realm, you know, they want to let you know that they have been supporting you in that and they've been with you all the time in those beautiful times when it's almost like you've been experiencing like an unfolding, like, like an envelopment of love. Um, and it was in fact that, you know, that uh, the, the positive sort of, um, uh, there's an energy that sort of surrounds um, earth when you when you study like um, angel healing for example or, or when I teach it to others there's like a Lyra energy which is almost like um, you can almost call it like the aura of planet earth you know um, like like you know like like us as human beings we've got our aura our energy field that protects us Lyra would be the energy field or sometimes people call it Lyra would be the energy that um, is protecting or, or, or sort of like the aura for planet earth that has been assisting you as well because obviously because while you're on planet earth you also experience everything that's going and happening on planet earth so that energy is available to you and it's been assisting you a lot but it's also sort of bringing you out of that um almost like self-victimizing mode where you've been doing things that you knew were not in your best interest and um, some of you are not speaking up about it because you know you thought it's better to sort of I don't know keep the peace and um, you know but um, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you so you may be experiencing that you may be getting into more sort of confrontational situations because life is pulling you out of that. It's letting you know it's not for you. All right. It's not for you. And they're confirmed with number 10 there with suppression. It's not for you. Um, it's almost like some of you are stifling your own life force energy there. And there's a, there's a form of divine intervention that is coming through. But I also feel that some of you are... Um, holding on to the past because it feels safe. Even though you might not have liked it, you're still holding on to it because it feels safe. And um, they're saying that it will be more healthy for you, even in the regeneration of yourselves for better life experiences, to let go of that so that the wonderful things that have been prepared for you by life can actually start coming through into passing in your life. So some of you are feeling frustrated because things are not going in what you would call a more positive direction. But... Um, if I may say so, with all respect, you're actually the one that's blocking the flow, okay? And they're saying that you don't have to do that. And you don't actually have to even... It's not like you have to do something so much. You more just have to kind of really get out of the way and allow the flow to continue, okay? Um, I feel that some of you are very... Um, almost anxious about offending others or hurting them, you know? Um, but they're not really appreciating your efforts in the first place. I'm sorry, I'm just going to put that one right up there, <laughs> okay? Um, 
then of course this is just for your re weekend reading and you can you can of course have you know look forward to your more detailed reading that is coming out later this week so if you like to more than welcome to subscribe to the channel or you can have a personal reading um, and the crystal that comes out for you is opal that speaks of joy all right opal is also a crystal of strong survival making it through very difficult things you know um, if you study crystal healing um, which I'm fascinated with um, you get to see how opal goes through a period where um, you know, many crystals do in their formative process, but especially opal, it goes through this period where it's very much touch and go, where um, it's almost like with conception of a child. There's many, 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 many things that can actually go wrong. You know, where it, be, where it, um, where opal, even though it could be very well on its way to a better start, um, something there can be a, a, a change in pressure or, or whatever it may be in temperature, and then you know it just sort of disintegrates again. And so I feel that some of you have been in that situation almost where it felt like a. Um, a tangibly uncomfortable situation but you you can actually pass through that right now there's this beautiful um, support coming through to help you pass through that right now okay so things might definitely be looking up I mean what goes up must come down and what goes down must go up all right so hopefully I'll see you later in the week for your fuller reading and I wish you a beautiful weekend namaste love and light